Yeah, I, I was quite uh, disappointed uh, that that mathematics and philosophy didn't really give me the feeling, oh, I know something now. Like I understand the universe better. And I couldn't make myself uh, continue pursuing that path. Uh, so I didn't go to grad school. I just picked up and left completely uh, and went to Taiwan. And there I gained access to sources of knowledge that were not on the menu at all at the university. So that would include uh, what you might call Taoist sciences and Taoist technologies. Traditional Chinese medicine is an example of a Taoist science uh, or a, a Taoist technology. And then there are also uh, things that, I, that my rational mind utterly rejected when I was in my late teens. <clears throat> having to do with uh, uh, energy work, you know, qigong, astrology, uh, feng shui, like those kinds of things. And, and I realized through a lot of, some firsthand experiences and a lot of secondhand experiences that the picture of reality that I had been given and that is implicit in the academic production of knowledge is a very, very narrow picture of reality that leaves out a lot of things that um, I had to admit were real. Either that, or I had to think that I was delusional and that seemingly sane, normal, humble people around me were delusional or outright fraudulent. And that didn't pass Occam's razor uh, to, to believe in a world of dupes and frauds that seemed totally reliable and mature and normal. Like that just didn't make sense. So that's, that uh, accelerated or, or propelled further my quest to understand what is going on here. Uh, what is real? What is true? How do, how do I s move toward what's real and, and true? Um, and how do I avoid the trap of the certainty that I had experienced at university, where, which was a false certainty, but from within that worldview, it seemed like the frog in a well. It seemed like all that there was. Like, how do I know if I'm still not in a distorted or narrow reality that leaves a lot of things out? So this, is, this was the, the path that I launched on in Taiwan.